What God trains you with is what you will use in battle. If God trained you with prayer, don't use another tool. If God trained you with scripture, don't use another tool. Are we together now? If God trained you with wisdom, pay attention to the tools that are used during your training process. That is what will bring Goliath. Nothing wrong with the armory of Saul. There are many believers after many years of investment with the spirit. The world now begins to tell you, drop your tools. No, prayer. Drop that prayer. It doesn't make sense. Drop fasting. It doesn't make sense. Drop the word. It doesn't make sense. Wisdom. Oh, no. Relationships. Not exactly. Drop them. And before you know it, you are in battle with tools you were not trained to use. Hmm. Are we learning? Yeah. And David returned it to Saul and said, I will use what he trained me with. When he stood before Goliath, Goliath said, am I a dog? Israel, you bring this little boy, I will kill him. Killing him is not the issue, it's how I would do it. I mean, you want me to give you a very bad memory? I mean, am I a dog? And David kept quiet. Silence is not fear. Silence is not fear. Let me tell you the truth. When mighty men are silent, it is wisdom walking. Ask Jesus. When they met Jesus and brought a woman who was caught in adultery, you would think because sometimes knowledge without wisdom makes you talk yourself even to failure. Silence. And he wrote on the ground. Maybe that's what Adam and Eve would have done if they were a little silent. Bible says even a fool when he's silent is regarded silence can create perception and he writes down <laughs> and then he says he who is without sin should cast the first stone and that was the end of it so David stands before Goliath and says Goliath who is this uncircumcised Philistine you come to me with your bows you come to me with your spheres, but I come to you in a name. There is a God that I met in the wilderness. He's a warrior too. He trains men to fight. He says, by you, I will run through a troop. And by my God, I will leap over a wall. 